What the fuck is good? It's Kev fucking Soze back in this bitch. And it's gonna be a shorter vi video. It ain't really a vlog or nothing like that. I'ma just, for me, since I'm back in Jersey, and it be motherfuckers, you know, like, yo, Kev, like, where you from? How you grow up? All the time. Trust me, I'm not capping. Motherfucking. So I'ma just drive around and show y'all how a nigga and where a nigga grew up at. So. Word, drop a fucking like, cause I'm figuring out how this YouTube shit work. So I don't give a fuck if you with your grandma and I cursed. I don't give a fuck if you with, I don't give a fuck if you Indo Indonesian, New Zealander. None of that shit matters, bitch. Cause just drop a like if you want me to keep these shits going. Real simple. But needless to say, let's start off from when I was fucking born. Let's go to that place. Here we the fuck are. Right here. Uh, my first house that I was born in. Oh. Look nice. But nigga, we are on 40th Street. And I don't got the key to this bitch. And I see ring security. So, we admire from afar what the fuck used to happen in this bitch. First of all, look at this goddamn yard. How fucking small this yard is, brother. And it was at least 15 niggas living in this fucking house, bruh. Look at the yard, bro. There's a backyard too, and we used to get it popping in that backyard, but look at this yard, bro. This, this, think about this. It used to be, see that top left, went right there? It used to be steps going right down to this fucking, well, to the front door. I used to jump my dumb ass right from the top to the fucking bottom all the fucking time. Boom, bust my ankle. That's probably why I got goddamn knee problems right the fuck now, nigga. Bust my goddamn, my ankle. Bust my ankle. But then, then you just grow up, and then I think we left here around, I left here around second grade. Like, the, the, the very end of first grade is when we got kicked out this bitch. And we moved to East Orange. So, oh, yeah. Now we head to East Orange to show y'all my great, <laughs> my grandmother's house, my real grandmother's house. Not the, not to say my last grandmother was fake, but we lived with this grandmother on some shit where like I started to realize that what the fuck was going on in life. You feel me? Like, matter of fact, no. Right before we moved to East Orange, we lived here. And from the end of first grade to the end of second grade, niggas lived right here. Not, not zoom in, but niggas lived right there, niggas. Right there, top floor. And this was a badass motherfucking area, nigga. Look at this bullshit right here. This shit is open. I ain't going back there. Matter of fact, should I go back there? This is fucked up, bro. I'm telling you, this is a fucked up ass area from what I can remember. Like, back here, bro, niggas is probably gambling. If I go back there, my dumb ass all black. Yeah, this is some bullshit, bro. This right here is rolling shit, bro. This is, this, is, this is where I have to come every day to get in the crib. So my mom will come back from work 2 a.m. Motherfuckers out here dicing and shit. Wilding the fuck out, bro. Walking out like, this used to be ass. And my fucking school that I went to is literally right the fuck over the motherfucking trees, nigga. Like, no excuse to be late. No excuse to miss, nigga. Even if I was sick, I had to go prove I was sick. Me. They's like, Kev, if you're sick, come into the main office so we can make sure you're sick. It's not like you gotta... Get on my bus and shit to come here, bitch. The school is literally right there. Hold on. Goddamn school is right there. That's the school. I lived right here. I could throw myself to school. But we out of this bitch, man. This shit give me fucking gay vibes, bro. Like, I hated this fucking place, bro. One floor, six people. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Six people at crazy AIDS gaps. Like, I was playing Madden 06 in this house. And my brother wanted to play the goddamn game too. I'm like, nigga, man, I know six just dropped my boy. You gonna have to fucking, you have to fucking, you gonna have to do something else. Donovan McNabb is on this motherfucking cover, bro. You in, the, you in the grill? You know, you know. Doc, right here, nigga. Mad of my life was right here. Uh, fuck my first bitch. Got bagged for the first time. Everything just regular niggas would do. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I would say more, but I got an open case. So this is my house. I just walked in. I'm 
this time of the day. It's a brown cat, so he can sleep in here. He just see me shaking and shit. I wanna hold it with two hands. He really brown like And I was popping and shit to this nigga before. So, this is my aunt. She used to be here. This is the main part of the house. This used to be her kitchen. This used to be my grandmother's room. And this door actually killed the cat. See what had happened was, this is a pretty strong motherfucking door. Like, you feel me? And we had kittens, like right here. Well, we didn't have the kittens right there. What had happened was the baby, I mean the, God damn it, the cat had the kittens all the way over there. But then I didn't know you wasn't supposed to touch the cats. But I didn't touch them. I wasn't even around. Somebody um, had touched them because she had had the kittens in the doorway. So every time somebody opened the door, they would fucking up, probably hit the cats. So somebody took the cats and moved them to a safe spot. But the kitten didn't like that shit. So she, so she grabbed all her kittens and moved them bitches right here. Right here. And I was talking to the cat. I'm like, listen. This may not be the best location for you. It's places like Atlanta. You could go to Arizona and just be free and shit. Speeding up the story one day. Motherfucking, we out for my man's Aaron birthday. Shout out, Aaron. You going crazy. I'm clearly great on the gram. It's his birthday. And we all piling into the car. I'm waiting on my man's chance to come outside. He comes outside like, yo. The cats just died. The door fell on them. I'm like happen he said i'm like what so we go in there and show enough right here my son who died gloves my son gloves died and passed away bro no no funny shit like this shit really sad bro so shout out gloves i'm gonna see if i can go in here but there's no light so it's like it'll be pointless but this is my grandma's room shout out her. she passed away in 2016 Alzheimer's and shit, and my aunt room used to be in here. I ain't gonna go in there because I don't know. I think one of my man's living there still. And this is the bathroom door that hasn't been opened in two plus years. Yeah, we don't even we don't even fuck with that. We get to the bread and butter now. Yeah. Our crib. This used to be our shit. Pardon the dirty. Pardon the graffiti, fuck that. Pardon the dirtiness and the and everything. Just pardon everything. Just imagine this as a real poem. Look in this bitch. It used to leak from right here. Yeah, we used to have leaking problems in this motherfucker. Crazy. So it's already leaking. Boom. This is remnants from I guess previous rain recently. So you. I mean, you see what would happen here. Like, this is nobody. This is not even nobody getting dirty. This is the house naturally fucking up. And then, where do I go? Where, what's the first room? Okay, boom. We in here. We, we step through this shit. We gonna cover this later. Yeah, we covering all this later. Bang. This is where I was. Yup. Nigga, I can lay down right now and be bigger than this room. But I had a little ass bed right here box spring mattress combination with the with the covers and all that shit i don't know what this is this not me it looks like shit if you want me to be completely real it looked like somebody number twoed right on the corner of this wall there's a homeless guy in here so i used to have my bed laid out right here my fucking big fat back ass tv right here this is when i we moved here when i was like eight like seven or eight third grade never forget it I had a TV, I had a bed, I had a little thing, I put my clothes, I really didn't put my clothes in there, because my shit used to be all over the fucking place, you know, this is already a closet, so where the fuck am I gonna go, and to top all of that shit the fuck off, my sister used to live right here, yep, that is how much space I had of privacy, and I didn't even have a fucking door, I had a sheet, a sheet, I'd be fucking playing a game at fucking 1, 2 a.m. in the morning. My sister would be in high school over here trying to fucking get some fucking rest. She used to have a mattress right here with her TV right here up in that corner. 
and she didn't even have a fucking door. She had this little sliding door shit, which is now right there on the floor. What had happened was, because I, I know y'all wondering, why is, the, why is this house like this? And why is the door on the floor right there? The police had thought they seen me do something that I didn't do. And then they came in this bitch and fucked everything up. They fucked everything up. There was, we cleaned up. Just know that we cleaned up. So we cleaned up. It's fucking pictures, like baby pictures of niggas, bro. This is like not even that long as baby pictures of niggas. They done stepped on it, fuck shit up, kick shit, rip shit, broke shit, broke the doors, threw shit all over the fucking place. Fucked the entirety of this house up, looking for some shit that they didn't even fucking find because I didn't even fucking do. Ain't that funny as fuck? But we done talking about that. We we done talking about that. You walking through the fucking, you walking through the fucking. What is this? The living room? Yeah, this used to be a living room. This used to be, used to be popping Christmas trees right there. If you know, bro, you know I used to post in this bitch a lot. I used to just sit, stand here, and just talk shit with the Christmas tree up at all times. And oh shit, I just seen something that almost gave me a motherfucking headache. Fucking my first load of bitches. I used to like them actually. And I got this for one of my female friends. And that's crazy that this shit is still here right now. I mean, that bitch hate my guts. So I was like, what the fuck, who cares? Yeah, couches and this bitch used to have it all. Yep. And then we came and graffiti this shit out of, uh, I think it was high. Yeah, we was high. It's fucking crazy because I remember one day I had an assignment. It was fourth grade. The bitch was like, we was learning about geography and shapes and shit. She was like, go home and draw the layout of your kitchen from your refrigerator to sink to stove. It should be a triangle. So I'm like, uh, and this shit was set up just like this this whole time. So I go home and you feel me? I draw a straight my fucking line because bitch, there's my fridge, there's the sink, there's the goddamn stove, and I hand it in to Miss De Silva, and she's like, oh, hold on, hold on. She's like, oh, you just did this last minute. I'm like, bitch, and I, there's no picture phones. I didn't have a fucking phone. I'm in fourth grade, nigga. The best I had was word of mouth. So I'm like, nigga, you wanna call my goddamn mom and tell her that this shit is a straight ass line and it's a fucking problem? Literally everybody else had a goddamn uh, isosceles triangle, a long motherfucking big tri I'm like, my shit is a straight line, gangster. What do you want me to do? And I failed. That whole class. I actually wanted to, they actually was about to hold me, hold me, hell, what is it? Hold me back? I'm like, nigga, if you hold me back, I ain't coming back bitch so yeah that that's that's a quick little story about this kitchen and this is the entirety of that shit and let me tell you something it was like fucking at the least at the least eight niggas living here and this was the kitchen stove sink fridge everything that every motherfucker used in this bitch like this stove right here shout out you bro i learned how to do everything with your little dumb ass this little ass dining room area, which I'm standing in, y'all can see how small this bitch is. But for some reason, we had a goddamn table in the middle of this bitch with space to walk on both sides. Fucking Thanksgiving dinner, niggas is fucking eating in this bitch. And I don't understand how the fuck we pulled that off. There ain't no space for motherfuckers. And look at another GTA map. Grand Theft Auto, come out with a new goddamn game, bro. Like I said, I was goddamn eight. Go to another room, my brother's room. Which is actually fucking weirdly set up. I'm not even gonna show you what's in here right now because there's definitely somebody in here. But, but, yeah. This is my brother's room right here. These two holes in this motherfucking wall was when I knew I had anger problems, nigga. Like, this is the small shit. Small shit, small fist calves, nigga. Was a punch and shit. I really punched the fucking, you know how it's like. I don't know if you can hear it, but here's the part you cannot punch. You would have broke your shit, Kev. And then I punched this shit. Luckily, 
and she went right through and then i went and i realized like oh there's a fucking whatever the fuck you call that shit a goddamn shit that be holding the house together and that shit so yeah it's my brother this has been my brother's room for mad long and then he left and then i started holding this room down when he went to college like he went to college i think 2k fucking 14 came out and i'm like oh yeah i'm i'm in this room bro i'm away from my sister my sister was moving out already she never even used to be at the house but then i just took this room over and then this is where y'all met me at this is where the internet really met a nigga at like like 2013 2014 and you know what's fucked up my parents literally this it there used to be a wall here nigga if you go on my tiktok at c2 times you are gonna see what happened to this wall nigga look boom Wow, new room. We walk right through this motherfucker. No transitions, no nothing. And now we're in my parents' room. Look at this bitch. Look at this shit. I ain't gonna hold you. My parents had the fat room, not gonna lie. I think the TV used to be over here. And a bed used to be, like, over here. And all of this was just open space, nigga. We had a fucking dog, nigga. The dog name was Dog. Words of my mother. It would never answer to nothing else. Crystal, diamond, nothing. Dog, bitch, come running. Shout out, dog. I'm, niggas miss you. Ever since you passed, motherfucking the world has been... Woo, the world's been chips ahoy, nigga. Chips ahoy. But yeah, this is the parents' room. This is the longest part of the vid because, you know, like, this is it. Like, this is where everything occurred. Like, again, bathroom that has never been opened. And pantry, who I think a homeless nigga living in. I ain't getting in all of that fighting shit. I got carpal tunnel and shit, broken fingers. I ain't never get fixed. And if I open this door and a shaggy ass white nigga come running out, we gonna get it popping. And I don't, I'm not doing that. So that's that's that part of the house. There is an attic. I can't even go up there. And there is a basement. I'm not going down there. So basically, yeah. I lived here up until like 2017, and then I got kicked out of the house for being a dumbass bitch. Not even gonna lie, I'd have kicked me out too, man. That's when I started tweaking the fuck out, but hey, we keep pushing. I lived in another place too, in Jersey. So let's, let's head out to that right now. And then boom, I can't even record this house right now because this nigga's right in front of that shit. But I'm gonna just keep it going. My fucking EO, General Hospital, right there, boom. Grandma's house, everybody used to live here. Dead ass, 40 deep. From motherfuckers in the attic, I don't even know. To niggas in the basement that just fucking passed by. My grandma was that nice of a fucking person. Like, that nice of a fucking person. She was, this shit was crazy. And she passed away in, what, 2016? And ever since then, ooh, this shit has been weird. Like, life been crazy, bro. But this is the motherfucking house, I want to say. Shit, like, I was living here going to school in different cities, bruh. Take beat. Like, that's how it was. I can't really say nothing or even go too much because you've seen them niggas over there. But, yep, this is where I started learning. Oh, yeah, we poor as a motherfucker out this bitch. <laughs> to be honest, we poor as a motherfucker. But it's all right. We thugged it through and we moved on. That's all you can say. So that's it for EO. This Haitian ass church was never fucking with us. We used to do this. Right here what I'm doing. Park right here right quick. Get the fuck out of my fucking parking lot now. I'm like, I bet. So, yeah. So yeah, that's how a young nigga grew up and where a young nigga grew up. And that's why I want to get the fuck from ever around here ever again. And on my family to go the fuck back to Trinidad, cause this is bullshit. Niggas been living in for fucking 20 something plus years. And I got the opportunity now to fucking bust ass. So, that's what I've been doing. So, drop a motherfucking like. More vids on the way. Any idea I have, I'ma just do it. So, shout out to the niggas, the little niggas that's watching, not the little niggas, but the little, for me, the little bit of following I got for right now for other for other shit other than music videos and all that you just fuck with me appreciate you gangster and we just gonna go up from here cause I've never been consistent with this YouTube shit at all and it starts well it started already but yeah shout out y'all niggas man